right guys, Monkey Boo and Happy's with me and Pete and today we're at a very special place. This is going to be probably one of the best Monkey Boo videos ever. We're at the Care Foundation Animal Rescue. They have all kinds of stuff out here and we're going to get to see some really cool animals. First thing right here, right out of the car, we got a turtle, sand, sand turtle? African spurf thigh tortoise. You want to say hi to him, babe? Yeah, he just gives a little. <laughs> He's like, no. Nah. Okay, I like I speak turtle a little bit. I know that means get back. <laughs> Look, boo, there's some raccoons. Hey guys. Very cool. So this is a really cool place to visit. It's not crowded. They do have some events and stuff. She's got some stuff coming up. We'll tell you about. Kristen is the owner. Say hi, Kristen. Hi, Kristen. <laughs> she was nice enough to let us come by and do a tour of the place. And there's some really cool stuff out here. You guys are going to love this. The raccoons are talking to us. Believe it or not, the one with no mask uh, is very old and she's blind. Totally blind. Oh, really? Yep. She came in from the wild blind. Oh. How does she eat and stuff? Like, she gets around just fine. As long as we don't move all the toys around, yeah. she gets around fine. And Bartleby, we call him our seeing eye raccoon. And wishbone. <laughs> He's for Thanksgiving, boo. And here we've got Hannibal the bobcat. We've got three house cats and Miss Louise the raccoon. In the wild, the bobcat would kill and eat everybody. Oh, yeah. He is yeah. really interested. You see the monkeys? They say if they can all get along, totally different species, then why can't people? Yeah, we do that a lot in our videos also. Yeah. That's piggers. That's a hay. Hello, boo. You've met one of these guys before. Yeah, yeah. he's very friendly. Hey, buddy. He's got some pretty eyes on him, boy. Huh. Oh, boy. He's a hey, man. He's going to be like, where's mine? <laughs> so this is just like a perfect example of how people should act. Look, we have two pigs and a gigantic turkey all hanging out together. So you guys are going to see a lot of animals out here today that you know people thought hey i'm gonna get this and have it for a pet and they just don't realize you know i say it all the time having a monkey and what i do with boo and happy it's not a pet it's a way of life it is a lifestyle this is what we do all right so we're going in that's jasper hey jasper <laughs> bumper <laughs> that's bumper says hello to everybody Come here. Are you an attention? Are you an attention pig? I guess that's how you pet a turtle. Yep. Check out that hole. Wow. Gage. Crawl nope. Out. Come on, crawl down in there. <laughs> nah, not happening. He could probably crawl in, turn around, and come back out. Probably pay you to spend a night in there <laughs> with the turtle. Twenty-four hours in a turtle bunch. <laughs> Bumper is our photo bomber. <laughs> You want to come with us and hang out? Oh, you want to come hang out with us? Look, boo. So, something that was probably ridiculously adorable when it was a baby. Yep. Uh, what is that? That is an Argentine tegu. This one was found wandering across the highway. It's supposed to be in Argentina, but we have them all over South Florida. Come here. What do you think, Happy? Oh, well, Happy seems interested. You guys can touch his back if you want. Oh, oh, happy! Look at oh, that. Look at Brett. Happy's brave. That is really cool that Happy touched. Happy's on that. That's good. Party cast. Hi. Coming. Hi. Hey. Say hey to you, boo. Hi, George. Can I say hello. Oh, that's George in there. Hey, George. Come on out, George. Is he talking? George is. Yeah. Hey, George. <laughs> hey, George. <laughs> hey, George. Hey, George. All ex-pets from different people. The little sulfur crest Hello. one with the yellow. He actually almost had no feathers when he came Hello. in. Hello. Hello. Look, Boo, you gotta say hey like you do. Say hey. Boo, Boo here's the monkeys. Hi, George. <laughs> that was a different one that said that, wasn't it? That was yeah. Maggie. So everybody, everybody just goes around saying George's name. Yeah, he Maggie is, copies. He's in charge. Now, is that why? What's, is it, That's is that, just showing off for you. Oh, okay. Yep. So I guess if George did that, it would be like gigantic. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, George. It's all about George. It's all about George. <laughs> yeah. It's the talk of the coop. 
All right, so we have some capuchins. Rosie's down here. She helped me raise the blondes, and that's her pet pig, Kiwi. Look. And they want us to come back. Yep. yep. So I come back. So Rosie's gonna come out and eat monkey boots. I'm happy. Yeah, she's excited to meet you, boo. Can you kick it, kick? Yay! Kick, kick, kick. Can you see that? Kick, kick, kick. Monkey boo, this is boo monkey. All right, this is? That's boo monkey. Boo said he wanted to talk to you about your name. Say, we didn't name him. Actually, we call him, we call him boo monkey purposely because you got monkey boo. <laughs> Pretty eyes up close. Oh, and some kisses. It's Boo and meets Boo. Hey, Boo. Hey, Boo. I'm not going to reach in. I'll let you reach out to me if you want. Abby's making a friend, Boo. Oh. Look into my eyes. <laughs> Hello. Hello, are you in there? It was nice to meet you guys. Kristen's way braver than I. <laughs> but she's going to get the alligator out. Whoa. Ruth, I got your fair and square. Oh, I know. You're so mad. Look you're at so that, mad. Guys. You are so mad. You see that, Boo? Who actually looks interested? You guys want to touch the tail? Say nope. <laughs> That was amazing. How, like, where did you learn to do that? I've been doing this a long time. Like, she just snatched him up and like had him like, <laughs> and he was clearly like in a nip if he could. Loves his head rubbed. Oh, his eyes are on back. <laughs> Loves his head rubbed. <laughs> and actually, to be honest, in the winter time, I bring him in the house all the time and just let him loose with the other animals. Oh really? I never have to worry about him. It's a Burmese well, python. Another wow. ex-pet. That'll get much bigger. How big now, but how big will she get? Um, this yeah. one's a male, so what? 12 feet. Yeah. 12 feet. Well, that's definitely the biggest snake I've ever touched, ever. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> this is the cactus. It's amazing. Wow. And did you behind, see? Yeah. yeah did yeah. you see what's behind <laughs> it? It just got real, boo. Hey. Hi. What do you think of that? Get ready to watch the tigers eat, guys. It's gonna be awesome. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I know. And that little noise she's doing is a happy noise. That's how she greets you. Oh really? It's called hey. shopping. Hi. Hey. Say hey, babe. <laughs> Keep in mind how sweet she is right now because when the meat comes you'll see something totally different. Right here's what they're fixing to eat. There, let me get a little taste of it. See his eyes changing color? That's the dump of adrenaline right there. They're usually real yellow, now they're turning neon green. Did you see that? Kristen says this is the baby. 
Not even two yet. What? Not even two years old. About 450 pounds. <laughs> come here, come here. Yay. Visitors. Oh. <laughs> Visitors. Oh, oh me. my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> Dude, what do you think about that? We're going to take on Scar, Simba. <laughs> yeah, you're a big boy. They're getting big, giant claws. Wow. Are you putting on a show for us? Happy's like, man, that thing's a giant, Daddy. <laughs> so he's got the around his eyes, that's allergies. She's going in there. She's going to help, help him out with his eyes. Kristen has no fear. Let me see your eyes. Let's get the gookie out of mm -hmm. the eyes. Did I get that's it all? Good boy. Did I get it all? Hi. Hi. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you left a piece of meat. Now you got flies. Now, will he get a big mane? Yeah, he's going to get a mane. Um, I don't know if it'll be he's as big as a lion mane, but it'll be bigger than a liger's mane. So this is actually the liger, right? This is the liger, which they're not supposed to exist. He's two parts lion, one part tiger. Okay. They said that ligers couldn't breed, but that was when he was a baby. Look at Boo being ballsy. See Boo. <laughs> I think he's actually talking to you like you shouldn't be in there. See, <laughs> <laughs> girl, you're crazy. So this is really cool. All the tiger cages are connected. And this goes on in this large area and, and except for the males together, they let all of them out together. Everybody gets to hang out. Well, go on in. You're one part tiger, go. There you go. Yeah. That was probably not a good idea for me. <laughs> Boo says, wait a minute, I like to take baths. Yeah, I've seen his baths. Kong toy. Kong toy. Dude, I am not going in. <laughs> oh, now I'm all wet. Now I'm going to get all wet. <laughs> I know. What did you do? What did you do? Oh, oh. What did you do? Oh, now I'm going to be all wet. That's my fault. That's my fault. Easy. Easy. I had to put the stuff in the pool, didn't I? <laughs> I know what you're going to do. We're going to ground surf and get everybody dirty. <laughs> what do you think, Boo? It's time for her to come out and... Not gonna let Big boy him. knows it, so he's he's playing his own little game of keep away. That was amazing. Full of tiger fur or lilac fur, mud. <laughs> well, these are red foot tortoises. I'm guessing they'll get gigantic. No, actually, they're full grown. Oh, really? Okay. Yep. So these actually do make good pets for kids because they're not going to get bigger, but they do eat a lot. Ginger fox. <laughs> She's like a happy little doggy. Yeah, I raised her in my house. So, and all the volunteers spend time with her. She walks on a leash. When they get really crazy, like upset or play real rough, you might even smell it in a few minutes. It almost smells like skunk spray. Like a skunk blew up. Oh, they really? give off this weird hormone. And when they play, they bite. And they don't mean to puncture skin, but they nip really hard. She's very affectionate. And it's the way we raised her. Here we got Chupe. He's a white-faced capuchin. Chupe, come here. You want to talk to us a little bit? Oh, you notice his you back posing? leg. He's got permanent damage. I think somebody slammed his back leg in the door or something and never took oh, it to get fixed. Yeah, I see he's fa or he favors it. Yeah, oh, so he's on glucosamine. <laughs> Are you being oh, cute? Oh, you're still super cute. Look at him. <laughs> he's like, I'm in a monkey boo video. I'm, I'm being cute. This was All another right, so ex-pet. So if I seen this and we were just out around, I'd be like, hey, that's a Komodo dragon. <laughs> yeah, it's the next step down. Yep, they get almost as big as Komodos. Now, you know, like the Komodos will bite stuff and they're, 
it's so toxic though. Mm -hmm. They can bite something and just go kind of chill over a few feet away and be like, I'm gonna die in just a little bit yeah. and I'll eat it. Is these guys the same way? They don't have the venom that the Komodos do, but they have the bacteria. Right. Because they're strictly carnivores, yeah, you get bit takes, by like, them, yeah, it's don't bad. Take, yeah, it don't take any time. Yeah. So do you take extra precaution not to get bitten? Actually, I go in and I can hand feed him. I trained him to go up there when it's food time. Even having a monkey or any kind of exotic pet, like what you guys, the repetition of what you guys do. Exactly. That's, that's where the animals will get comfortable. And even then, like the tigers were so cool and responsive and you throw some food up there and all of a sudden it gets real. Crazy. <laughs> like, I, like, whew, like we just set this all up actually while we were in Florida. And if you had said, uh, yeah, there's going to be a tiger like a foot and a half from your face and he's going to be mad over food, I'd be like, no, no, there's not. Like, I'm not going there. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a great place for a field trip. I know we got a few other things we're going to see, but I'm going to put all the info in the description. Uh, Central Florida, we're, we're just north of Orlando. So if, or if you guys are passing through here, I'll have an email in there. You can contact Kristen. I'm sure she'd love to have you guys come and visit. I've done some stuff today that I didn't think I would ever do. <laughs> Kiwi! Oh, he's Kiwi! Kiwi! <laughs> Kiwi is a South American raccoon, a Cotamundi. They also call on Kawadis. I'm gonna get that belly. I'm gonna get your belly. Yeah, get your belly. <laughs> yeah, so she looks like a combination between an anteater, a lemur tail, and those raccoon legs and feet. So she's kind of from the same place that Boo would be from. Yeah, I, absolutely. They'd be neighbors. I wonder how they get along in the wild. Oh, she's saying hey to everybody. Now, a lot of people have these as pets. Yeah, they're not recommended. Common. I've been around some that were pretty cool, but they were kind of cool with just one person and nobody right. else. Right. Like, they're very bonding. Definitely wouldn't recommend it. Very <laughs> high energy. That's actually my bedroom window, and I let her in and out. But I have to, you know, pretty much take everything off the shelves and everything yeah. when she comes in. Guys, pay attention real close. Come around the corner here. Probably going to have a special visitor come running up to us. Dave's just real nervous. <laughs> just, just hold it steady, Dave. Yes, sir. Hey. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Hey, Amos, what do you Hi. think? Hey, Amos. We gave you the chin. That's a sign of friendship. Hi. Oh, go ahead oh. and pet him. Yeah, he's giving you the chin. Hi. Oh, now he oh, wants his belly boo. done. You want your belly rubbed? Oh, yeah. He says you have no treats. <laughs> you mean nothing to me now. You watch everybody. Watch yeah, everybody. if somebody comes near me in the house, me or one of his favorite people, he's better than any guard dog. I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I you do need not that. Need, need that. I need you to pick me up. You do not need that. Amos's dinner. Seriously, dude. Monster, you pick out of everything you pick out my monster can. If Boo was ever get his hands on something like that, he wouldn't put it down until it was absolutely there was nothing left. There shouldn't be anything in there. I don't know what he thinks he's getting out of there. Alright guys, here it is. <laughs> this has been amazing. We're gonna watch a Nile crocodile. Yeah. <laughs> looks like he's what, about six, six feet, seven feet long? Maybe? He's about seven at least. His name is Ngozi. He can actually get his face through pretty far. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he's like, what's up, you two? <laughs> oh, yeah, he's going to follow me. He's like, I'm going where the food I'm is. the only one that works with him, so. Ngozi. Good boy. Oh. Come on back this way. Run. Run and goesy, run. Run and goesy, run. Good boy. Hey. Wow. <laughs> so he's just like <laughs> holding it in his mouth. Does it digest? Actually, like I think he already swallowed oh, it. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Moving so would you slower. actually go inside there and run around? No, we don't go in there. Oh, okay, um, okay. Not at this size anymore. Yeah, I don't want you to. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was just asking if you did. I know my limits. That's yeah. the limit. Now, when we go into Mo, we just lock him in the pen over there. He goes into lockdown. Okay. Hi, Lola. 
Boo, what you think about that big bear? Look at that big giant bear, boo. He's like, it's big. <laughs> She's like, a lot of this stuff here is really big. <laughs> so would you go in there with her? Yeah, when we go to feed her, um, I taught her when she was a baby. Anytime, wherever she is, if we tell her up box, she'll go up on her box and then we feed her. All right, so maybe even cooler than that giant cactus, which my mom would have loved. We got some bananas growing, but look at that. Oh boy, <laughs> you see them green bananas? He's I like them brown and mushy. This has been a lot of fun. All the contact info is in the description below. We've been out here for a few hours. I'm I'm hot sweaty. I've been mosquito bitten, but I've done things that I never would have dreamed I would ever do. I've touched the biggest snake ever. I've had an angry tiger two feet right in front of my face. That was amazing. But Kristen, thank you again for letting us come out. If you guys are passing through Central Florida, just north of Orlando, you can jump off a of 95 or is it 75 this over the other side? 429. If you're going to the Tampa area from anywhere, you're probably going to pass right by here. Definitely worth the stop and check it out good place to bring the family and spend a couple hours and let them show you around and it's all a very safe and protecting environment which made me feel really good right mm -hmm. so boo you gonna check this and thank you will you shake your hand boo. good job thank you oh he likes the nails yeah too. he's like yeah he's, he's got to like, clean he's like i just do nails and stuff <laughs> happy he can do my nails hi boo hi happy you're very cute all right guys thanks everybody for watching don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and also go follow their instagram which is care foundation florida all right there you go we'll put all that in the, in the description this has been lots of fun boo you got everybody a sweaty kiss <laughs> oh that's a good boy you got a kiss from me boo no <laughs> well, <a little> <laughs> all right see you guys